So we all are aware of this device that you see on the screen. It's the low voltage contactor. Now this is a perfect device where we need to have a lot, a lot of switching operations, right? They do not have any sort of special mechanism, any sort of special interrupting media. It's just uh, the air in which the current is uh, broken, uh, but they are capable of performing huge number of operation which is why it is perfect choice for low voltage applications such as the motor switching because you need to switch the motor a lot of time so contactor comes and helps us in there uh, we also have some loads like for example lights so they need frequent switching in a day-to-day -day basis so we can use contactor there so in such scenario this type of contactors are very very useful well, the similar type of scenario is also there in the medium voltage system. So we have a lot of motors in medium voltage that is uh, above 1000 volts. We have arc furnaces, for example, industrial arc furnaces, which needs frequent switching. But the contactor that we just saw, it's not capable of performing this type of operations in the medium voltage uh, system because in medium voltage we are talking about uh, you know voltage which is more than 1000 volts so it can be 6.6 uh, .6 kilovolt it can be 12 kilovolts and things like that so whenever uh, the voltage is higher there should be some special arrangement provided for interruption of the current it could be normal current or it could be abnormal current as well and the contactor, the low voltage contactor is definitely not capable of doing that because it do not have any sort of special current interrupting medium. And that's where the vacuum contactor comes into picture. They tackle all the problems that are there with the uh, low voltage contactors. And in this video, we are going to talk about this vacuum contactor. What are the components of it? Why do we use it? What are the applications of it? And what are some of the differences between the circuit breaker and the vacuum interrupter? So it's certainly an interesting video and I request you to watch it till the end. Now, before we go and understand this vacuum circuit breaker and why we use it, let's first make one thing very clear. Vacuum contactor, the primary purpose of vacuum contactor is to have the frequent switching operation. They are used where the frequent switching operations are needed. They are not meant to break any sort of short circuit current. So they are not there to provide the short circuit current. Uh, current protection please keep this thing very very clear because it's a general tendency whenever you see the word vacuum uh, we relate it to the short circuit breaking but vacuum contactors are not capable of breaking huge fault current there is capability that they have which we will talk but it's not huge uh, capacities that they can break for breaking that huge current we have a dedicated device vacuum circuit breaker so vacuum contactor and vacuum circuit breaker are two different and separate devices. Please remember this. There is a difference between these two, right? So that is the basic uh, understanding I want you to have before you go and understand the vacuum contactors. So we talked about the low voltage uh, vacuum. Uh, it's not vacuum, it's just the contactor. Uh, we discussed it is used where the lot of switching operations are needed. But when we talk about the medium voltage, this contactor is not capable enough to, you know, handle that current, handle that voltage. We need some sort of special medium in which the current can be broken or current can be interrupted. Definitely this contactor will not be able to provide us that. We need special arrangement. So what we do, we add vacuum bottles in the contactor. So let me show you uh, that here. So you see these are the vacuum bottles that are there and inside there will be contacts that we provide. So current interruption will be happening here. And the advantage of vacuum contactor is that they are very highly, highly reliable because whenever the contact opens in the con uh, vacuum interrupter, they, uh, there will not be any restrike of arc because in vacuum there is absence of free electrons. And that's the reason why the arc will not restruct once it is extinguished. That makes them very, very highly reliable. Now we have already talked about what is the working principle of these vacuum interrupters. If you want to watch that video, I'll put a link for it down in the description. You can go and check it out after this video. 
So that makes them very reliable for high switching operation. So as we discussed, we also have motors in medium voltage. We have some load which need frequent switching. So everything is scattered with the help of a vacuum contactor because the low voltage contactors is not uh, you know capable enough in doing that so if you see the parts here we have this basic frame we have of course the vacuum bottles in which the main contacts are placed uh, then these are some of the auxiliary contacts uh, in which you can take the supply for uh, indication purpose whether the contactor is on or off that you can see we have on off indication here then of course there will be a mechanism a spring mechanism so there will be mechanical latch there will be electromagnetic two options uh, available and then there will also be an operation counter which will count the number of operations performed by this vacuum contactor. Now let's talk about what are some of the applications, what are some of the use case where we need this type of high switching and vacuum circuit breaker, oh sorry not vacuum circuit breaker but the vacuum contactor plays a very important role. So first and the major application is of course uh, the motor switching. Now please remember when we say motor switching it is not only the turning on and turning off of it but the vacuum contactor also helps in reversing the speed of uh, the rotation of the motor. So that is uh, something that happens frequently so vacuum contactor is uh, the perfect choice there. Then we also have some power distribution where we have load for example the street lights uh, uh, can be controlled using the vacuum contactors because you need to do a lot of operation turning on turning it off so vacuum contactors is uh, useful there in industry a lot of arc furnaces are used where you need uh, a lot of turning it on turning it off vacuum contactor will help there also capacitor bank switching is also again very important application of vacuum contactor because uh, switching of the capacitor bank is not easy in capacitive circuit the voltage and current are out of phase by 90 degree and that creates a lot of problem so but uh, the vacuum contactors are capable enough of switching the limited to a uh, few amperes of capacitive current uh, in traction also it is used uh, because wherever there is electric uh, uh, railways they will be turning on and turning off the supply to that using the vacuum contactors then uh, wherever there is an overload that can also be supported by the vacuum contactors now of course they do not have the braking capacities as we discussed but if you can couple that with a fuse in series with that then it can also provide protection against uh, overload protection against short circuit as well so all these are some of the crucial application where vacuum contactors can be used now uh, the very important question is all these operation can also be performed by the vacuum circuit breaker. Absolutely yes, you can perform all these applications, all this switching with the help of a vacuum circuit breaker, no doubt about that. Then the question is why are we using vacuum contactor, right? That's the common question. Well, you need to understand with vacuum circuit breaker, we have two problems. Problem number one, it's expensive, right? So. Uh, it, it makes no sense to invest that money for these applications. Of course, there will be one main, main circuit breaker which is there. Uh, in case something goes wrong, that will trip. But for switching, uh, you putting that high cost make no sense. Second, the circuit breakers are not capable of having high number of operation on and off. They are tested maximum for few thousand applications, M2 duty, 10,000 operation, for example but they cannot go beyond that. If they go, then there will be maintenance, you will have to change few parts, uh, contacts, wear and tear can happen. So all those problems are associated. And all of this is addressed into a vacuum contactor. Vacuum contactors are cost effective compared to the circuit breaker. Plus they are capable of performing millions of operations, millions. So you can imagine uh, their capacity. So, that makes them 100% suitable for all these high switching operations. Now let us go and talk some of the characteristics of the vacuum contactors. So vacuum contactors are available into two different options. You can have either it a single phase option or a three phase option. So your application needs only single phase switching. Uh, you can use only single phase of these contactors or maybe the three phase which is the uh, regular option. They are available up to 12 kilo volts. Uh, so beyond that voltage you may not find uh, the vacuum contactors and beyond that voltage frequent switching is also uh, not very common. 
they are available up to 4 to 500 ampere this is normal current that we are talking we are not talking about the fault current so they are capable of uh, breaking this current frequently without any problem they do have some sort of short time current breaking capacity which can go up to 6 to 8 kilo amperes but not more than that stand alone i'm talking but if you can add a fuse in series with that uh, then of course uh, they can provide the short circuit capacities up to 50 kilo amperes but you will have to put a fuse in series with that so that can add the short circuit breaking capacities and as i said the number of operations they are capable of performing can go up to 1 million operations mechanical endurance i'm talking similarly a uh, few lakhs for electrical endurance operations so they have huge capacities of uh, uh, the operations that they can perform compared to the circuit breaker which is why uh, for high switching operations these devices are preferred over circuit breaker now this number may vary manufacturer to manufacturer the type of contactors that you're using so please uh, check on that and they are also available in two different options so fixed variant which is fixed inside the panel or it can be a withdrawable version of that also that means you can remove that contactor uh, from the panel as and when needed for quick maintenance or if you wish to replace it uh, without having a longer downtime so that is the capacities uh, that withdrawable type version provides now here you can see in this picture we have used a uh, you know fuses here so this is one fuse this is another and this is the third one so ryb and it is connected in series with the contactor that we have here okay so this can provide you the uh, safety against the short circuit breaking so in case of short circuit happens this fuse will blow so you can simply replace it and reuse uh, the contactor again so it also provides the contactor from any sort of damage so that's the advantage that we get here this is just an example uh, that you can see now let us quickly summarize uh, the video and what we discussed so we saw that the arc quenching happens in a sealed vacuum interrupter ensuring fast interruption and minimal contact erosion so that's why they are highly capable for the high switching operations up to million operations they can perform it is used where frequent switching operations are required we saw some of the applications like motor switching the power distribution load uh, then there could be arc furnaces and a lot of applications are there they have longer lifespan so if we compare it's up to 10 times longer electrical life uh, due to the reduced contact wear and tear because it's inside the sealed vacuum bottle capable of performing up to 1 million operation again it may change manufacturer to manufacturer and what type of contactors you are using and if it is connected with the fuse then it can also provide the protection against the short circuit current now please again i will reiterate on the point that the vacuum circuit breaker and vacuum contactor are two different devices okay they cannot replace each other and perform their work the circuit breaker to a certain extent can do the switching but it's uh, not possible to do the frequent switching now if you want me to make a dedicated video in which uh, i can explain you the difference between vacuum circuit breaker and vacuum contactor if you want me to make that video then do comment vcb versus vc if I get enough comment, then definitely I'll be making a dedicated video on that. And if you want to learn more about the vacuum circuit breaker, how they operate uh, and other things related to that, I have a dedicated playlist in which I talk on the circuit breaker. I'll put link for it down in the description. You can go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful, then do like it and do share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing. And yes do subscribe so that you don't miss any of our updates thank you for watching i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning